Previous Motors has posted a decent set of numbers in Q1 amid a challenging environment for the auto industry. It has posted a growth in the net revenues driven by improved realizations. Let's do a three-point analysis of the earnings fine print and what's the outlook on the company. 1. What are the key Q1 result highlights? TBS Motors' Q1 profit slipped marginally on the total sales of over 4,400 crores. Amid the weakness in demand and also the subdued consumer sentiments, TBS has actually posted a year-on-year -year volume decline of 0.6% led by decline in scooters volume, which actually got partially offset by growth in motorcycles and the three-wheeler segment. Overall realization improved 7.8% year-on-year led by a rich product mix and multiple price hikes taken by the company to pass on the rise of the raw material prices. Now, improvement in realization also helped the company to post over 7% of year-on-year -year growth in its net revenues. In terms of the operating profitability, EBITDA margin witnessed a marginal uptick to clock in 8% growth. However, it continues to be much lower than the double-digit margin guidance driven by the management. 2. What's the growth outlook for the company now? Well, growth in two-wheeler industry continues to be quite lackluster with no signs of respite coming in at all. Lower than average monsoon is expected to aggravate the already ailing sector as well. And as per the management, the short-term outlook for the two-wheelers industry continues to be muted on the back of subdued consumer demand led by non-availability of retail finance, as well as higher insurance costs and rising vehicle prices due to implementation of new safety regulations. The segment would witness flat volume growth in the first half of FY20. However, the second half should be strong. The management also cited pre-buying ahead of FBS6 implementation, good festive season and the reduction in interest rates as the key triggers for the industry. And in the long term, however, there is a huge potential for two-wheelers in India and strong demand is expected to come from both rural as well as urban areas on the back of very low penetration and rising disposable income. The three-wheeler market continues to gain strength after the end of Raj permit. Now, this has led to the company posting strong volume growth in this segment. TBS must continue to perform well in this space even going forward. The overall export markets also seem to be stabilizing and benefiting TBS, as is evident from this quarterly volume numbers, which witnessed a year-on-year -year growth of 10%. 3. What should be investors' strategy now? Well, the company is still far away from its target of achieving double-digit EBITDA margin. The management has highlighted that the new launches, strong traction in the export markets as well as commodity cost benefit and cost efficiencies would help the company achieve this target. Now, despite a 37% fall in the stock price from its 52-week high level, the valuation of TBS continues to be at elevated levels as compared to the peers. The company is currently trading at 21.4% times FI20 projected earnings, which leaves little comfort for investors.